Okay, vertical jump throughs from the side. So, um, these ones are most easily done from a weave. So, you want to be familiar with that. So, I'm starting with a forward weave. When my hand comes, starts to come across my body and crosses over, so to here, um, that's when you're going to be making, that's when you're going to be jumping through. So, the point that it crosses your body. So, I'll do this from the front and the side. So, coming down, my hand's kind of hooking over. I'm going to jump into this and then push it out and back into either weave or an iso, uh, linear isolation or whatever. So from the side, looks like this, and then coming through. So really the trickiest part here is, um, is that you have a bit of a grip change. Your hand has to slide across, um, around the surface of the hoop when you're coming out of it. So um, pay attention to my hand here, I'll do this kind of slowly. So you're letting the hoop kind of roll in your hand. And then in this tucking in part here, when I'm jumping in, you see that my hand is here, but has to switch to sliding around so that it ends up here. So it does, you have to use some um, power in the wrist to kind of twist it and change the grip. Um, this obviously is easier if you um, can do it looser and don't hold on so much. Also, really easy to go into an isolation from here. So to go into an isolation from here, you just stop. Once you've jumped in, you just go right into isolation. Like that. You can also... Um, to make this really kind of like more interesting, or ways to make this more interesting, is to really um, use the legs. So to really jump down, when you get down here, and then you can do an iso pop, you can do one of these. Actually, it's a good transition to, to the floor too. So, um, oh, and then we'll go over reverse really quickly. So, right hand, reverse weave, the hoop is going to, this is a little more awkward, it's going to come down, it's going to come from the top and come down my body and then I'm going to jump out and it's forward. So I think the easiest way to kind of get into that would be to do your forward jump through and then once you get to this point, you're, you're done, you did your jump through, you're just going to take, stop it here take it in, you're going to fold it, or it's going to, um, I'm sorry, it's going to cross and come over the other side of your body, so now it's um, touching my leg down here, and it's over um, on my left side, hands in front on the top, jump out, and come forward. So you can see how these things can kind of, um, <laughs> um, Mold it to one another too for a really cool trick. And then obviously you can do this with your left hand, it's just a little more awkward. But yeah, so uh, let me know if you have any questions or are having a difficult time with it and I can try and clarify. Good luck.